Right, so how are your hands this morning? Oddly enough, probably better than yours after rowing that whole thing out from the boat. Ship, only I can call her a boat. Fair enough. Oh, that's good to hear anyway. Hey, yeah. Uh... Especially since my hands are not actually that bad. Aye. Oh, look. Oh, what do we got here? Hmm. I'm not a botanist. Well, that makes two of us. Nice little green plants springing up around Winelm, though. Girls, does this place ever get... actually warm? Or is it just going to be a frozen... Uh... It's just going to be frozen the whole year. I uh, probably. It's midsummer now, isn't it? Uh, uh, late spring, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell seasons in Skyrim. Aye. It's a nice morning, though. Indeed. Oh, Khajiit. Hmm. <laughs> Eloquent as usual. So, you were at Winterhold, right? I, you know your way ar uh, around Windhelm much? Easy for me to say. Uh, not as such. Hello, chicken. No, Cactus and I mostly stayed up north. That does make sense, actually. Not much one for small talk then, I take it? Not really. Eh, ah, well. <laughs> uh, I did try. I appreciate your company anyway. That's good to know. Right, where are we headed? Uh, up there somewhere. What you got? I don't know. Do you see that up in the mountains? I do. I don't know what that is either. Weird. Some Nordic ruin, it looks like. Aye. Oh, bandits. Oh, fancy stick. Indeed. Are we going to have trouble? It is entirely up to them. I'm not going to go pick a fight if you're not. And bears. I have no idea what that is. Go! 
swords. Boo. All right. Well, good to know snowbows hit harder than I do. Well, in that case, allow me to take the lead. Ah, uh, I can do. You've got much heavier armor. Indeed. Right. I imagine that the thing we're looking for is this, with all of the... torn banners on it. Oh, I... So, what is it? It's a monument to Dunmer refugees, it would seem. Oh, I... that's... interesting. Hey, speaking of, are you a refugee? I mean... There are a few Dunbar who aren't at this point. And those that are, are mostly younger than me. But no, I wasn't entirely. My father might have been. My father and uncle, anyway. Alug, I. Right. You see what I'm seeing? Is that a spirit fox? Hey, Foxy. What are you about? I'm not sure. Bunch of graves. Well, that's the strangest thing I've seen all day. Hi, me too. Gotta say. Right, we're looking for... Careful on the snow, yeah? Aye, it's packed down really... Really, uh, dense. Oh, well... I'm blind, but... Hello, little ghost. Hi, I've never seen you around here before. Uh... Oh. What about you, cute little thing? Hey, did you see a dragon? Uh... I've seen a dragon. I believe I have as well. Yes, a good dragon. Uh, can't say as I've seen any one of them. I neither here. Father won't let me go see the dragon, but he wouldn't tell me why not. Uh, because dragons are dangerous. That would be my guess. Really? Tell them he didn't do it. Didn't do what? I don't know. Someone in town said it. Tell me more. Nah, I don't want to. I hate her. Everyone hates her. I will tell them about the good dragon if you help us. What? I I'll just go with it, alright? You would do that? That's great! I have to remember to tell Papa! Uh... I 
don't know either. Let's just be on our way then, hi. Huh? It's dark in here. Huh. Oh, especially after standing out in that very, very bright sun. Indeed. Hello. What do you make of this? Uh, you're asking me what I make of it? Aren't you supposed to be the... the tactician you want? Never said that, but... Remember that spot? South of a... hill? West of right... West of White Run. Easy for me to say. I I could do that. See anything useful yet? Oh. Well. Someone was not in a good way here. I'll say... Gold. For Teldrin. <laughs> Does that say dumber? It says dumber. My trusted fellow Dunmer. All right, so you understand. Here is the perfect fighting tactic. I chop. <laughs> uh, the archer covers my back. We must depart very soon, so I got your bow to practice with. I know you're still heavily injured, but if you were Skyrim's only hunter, all the people. <laughs> well, I see these two were excellent friends. My dearest Nord Fiend, you will respect my combat style or I wouldn't be responsible for whatever happens next. <laughs> Teldrin Zero. Well, I'm going to assume that Teldrin was the one who was in a very bad way here. Well, that's the only evidence we've got so far, so might as well. What we got here? By order of Jarl Horak, the great bear of East March. Having been declared innocent of all crimes, Teldrin Cyril is released. The sentence of death is hereby lifted. The bounty has been paid in full by employer Voden Freewinter, to whom Teldrin Cyril is in the service of. Teldrin Cyril is now bound to serve his Nord Master, Brynwolf Freewinter. Oh, is now bound to serve his Nord Master. Brynwolf, Free Brynwolf Freewinter is now directly responsible of every crime they shall commit in the East March Hold. Interesting. Uh, do you know of any Freewinters? I'm sure I've heard that name before. Could you do me a favor? Oh, I can certainly try. You unlock that. Golds. Uh, if I can get past there. Let me get out of your way then. There we are. Alright, try it now. Thank you very much. It was only gold. Heh! <laughs> what do you mean, only gold? Fair enough. Things not to say to somebody in the Thieves' Guild. Alright. So, what next? We go talk to... Vodin, I assume. If we can find him.
Right, Voden or... Or Brunwulf. One of the three winters. Ah. Back into the snow. Well, look at that. What? Oh, hi. Is that Azura? Hi. And there's your ship. Oh, look at her. Have you ever seen that shrine of Azura? Up close, I mean. Not from a distance. I don't think there's anywhere in Skyrim that you can't see that from a distance. Aye. <laughs> Long as you take a couple steps to the left or right. Mm -hmm. But I have seen it up close, actually. Right, oh, you're a Dunma. You probably... ...actually worship Azura, don't you? Indeed I do. Sort of. Not exactly a devout... ...uh... ...redderin, are you then? More than some. My uncle's a priest. Oh, right. So you sort of grew up with it, didn't you? One might say that. Right. There isn't a good way across to there, is there? Uh, no. I would much prefer just going in the front door, frankly. Alright. <laughs> so, wait up. Goats. Sometimes I can actually tell that you were a soldier at some point. Oh, are you just... Hole off into nowhere? Aye. Sorry. Sort of a habit. Eh, I don't blame you. We're trying to get somewhere. Fastest way is to sprint. It's not the most pleasant way, but it is the fastest, probably. Ah, yes. It's cold enough that you can see all of the... ...smog over East March. Aye. Oddly enough, that's where I saw... ...the dragon that I saw. Just let me know if you see anything you like. I might. I might come back. Uh, what was I saying? Dragon in East March? Aye. Eh, didn't matter. Did you use my good hammer? No. Last girl, I told you to leave my Excuse me. Another refugee? Gods really have abandoned your people, Dark Elf. Right. Oh, yes. My father now says we need to just get on thing. with our lives. Uh, like it's that easy. Sorry about that. Uh, right, now I've been in Windhelm before. I wanted to thank you again for the mince pie you sent over. 
It was delicious. It was my pleasure, Torbjorn. I enjoy cooking, and after what you and Tova have been through, it was the least I could do. My little Friga loved to cook, but she was terrible Cookware, at it. knives, then and other day, goods for the home, out of nowhere, all at reasonable prices. She made the most amazing leek soup. She watched while we ate it, and when she saw how much we loved it, she was so... So proud. Hear my prayer, son so of Akatosh, and grant you peace to these departed terribly. souls. I wish there was some way I could help. You've done more than enough already. You've been a good friend in a time of need, and we won't forget that. I'm sorry I lost myself. Oh, did you need something? Uh, well. Need to figure out where. The free winters are. Well, one free winter in particular, anyway. I have no idea where we are. Oh, that makes two of us. You're the one all the gods are talking about. You went into that sanctuary, wiped out the Dark Brotherhood. Friend, I owe you a drink. What? Well, that's interesting. Did you actually do that? No. I've been meaning to speak to you, Naranya. On the other hand, you've got ties to the thieves guild. One should never pay too much attention to rumors. Friend of yours? You oh, Naranya? Okay, oh. say. Fair enough. Where in oblivion is this man? A few septims for my supper is all I ask. Your guess is as good as mine, frankly. Aye, that's sort of a problem. You're a war hero, Brunwolf. All people ah. will listen to you. It's not that simple. They say the college has been snooping Skyrim around Sarkhan. Mages he in the Doesn't trust Berian what he calls outsiders. No good can come of that. You've seen how we live: cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. I'll speak to Elfric soon, but I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. Excuse me. You one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? Do I look like I am? I think all folks should be welcome here. Obviously I'm a bit biased in that opinion, but... And you're right. At least as far as I'm concerned. Don't let Ulfric or some of these other short-sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. Aye. So here's a question. About the Free Winter Farm. How about you mind your own business about it? <laughs> How quick things change. Aye. All right. In that case, can you tell me anything about Vodin, Freewinter? Yes. He's dead. But never mind all that. How do you know him? I'm investigating Tildren Ciro. What makes you think I know anything? Everyone knows he's dead and gone. Well... You're the last person who was responsible for him. So... Sure. Let's hear the rest of it. Raven Rock is under attack. I see. I've also heard troubling rumors about dealings between you and the crew of that pirate ship. I don't know about such things. But what's all this about? Me and... Oh, you know, I suspect my reputation is, uh... Bleeding off on you a little bit. I apologize. 
Right. Well, a woman named Sigrun wants children alive. Not this again. Let's just kill them both, eh? Why is she after him? She still mourns greatly for her husband. My brother. He was murdered. By Teldrin? <laughs> him? Better help him out any way you can. Isn't there a bounty on his head? No. <laughs> After twenty years of fighting, she posts those all over the city, looking for revenge. Well, he sort of made it clear that he doesn't need any help, at least as far as I saw. Yeah, I know what you mean. Arrogant elven bastard. But he's no traitor. I owe him my life, in fact. Aye, tell me more. What happened exactly? My brother and I returned from the war to find my home overrun with bandit filth. These filth bags swooped in and seized the place. I warned him not to go in there. We were outnumbered five to one at least. But then, out of nowhere, a dark elf attacked. And you know the rest. So, what happened to the farm then? That dark elf burned it down. Did he also kill a child? No, he didn't. She was stabbed, and then cut apart. Oh, well that's nice. Great. Forgive me for asking this, but... Why would a dark elf go out of his way to help two Nords? Not sure. I'll point you to the first and last person you're ever going to need to talk to. You need only ask about it. I'll probably need to prove Teldrin's innocence to Sigrun, also. Hmm. Think I've got something you can use. Here. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Well, thank you for your help, sir. Be careful. This woman is known to be dangerous. <laughs> oh, I know it. Do I ever know it? Right, what'd he give you? Oh, him. Eh. Uh. It looks like... Looks like Vodin died at Robber's Gorge. And Teldrin said, if anyone asks, so did I. I see. Right, and who are we looking for now? We're looking for Vodin's tomb, I think. Well. Best get at it, then. Any idea where that is? Aye. Up by Robber's Gorge. Some are saying the Sigic monks have been seen in Skyrim. They're an ancient order. I had them figured for dead. It's a bit more than rumour. Interesting. You need me to take a, to a turn with the torch, so wonder. So far, so good. Sort of. It's not that heavy. Aye. I'd still prefer a lantern, but. We may do. Mind the mud crabs. Aye, and also the bandit camp.
Indeed. They'll probably see us if you don't put that away. Fair enough. Nah. Oh, well. That was quick. Let's go over here. Well, don't fancy getting your boots wet. I was going to say I don't fancy getting my cloak wet. And then did just that. Well. This certainly looks like a Nordic tomb. Knowing absolutely... Uh, nothing about Nordic tombs. I'm going to just agree with you. Well, that's nice. If that's Bowden, I just found a skull. Oh, I like him. Whether in victory or in death, may the gods have mercy on them because I shall have none. <laughs> what a war cry that is. Hey. Might as well grab that as well. Now then. We have the proof we need. You know what that means? Uh, no? We go back to Gildas of all people. Oh, uh, great! <laughs> and of course, Morfold doesn't really have a carriage stop. Aye. Uh -oh. So we are gonna have to go out to Whiterun and then all the way back around. Probably. Solitude might be closer. Uh, I mean, it is, I suppose. But White Run is actually on the way to where we're going, so. Guess it depends on how much sleeping you want to do in a carriage. Or in general. I, if I was smart, I'd set up a tent. <laughs> you know, we could just take over that bandit camp and spend the night there. Surrounded by dead bodies. I don't think so. The alternative is, we spend the night in Rorikstead, which I think is just up the road here. You know what? I like that. That's a, that's a nice compromise. <laughs> spend the night in Rorikstead. Mind the wolves. And, uh, report back to Geldis in the morning. Aye. Keep your eyes sharp, though. Aye. What is that? Reachman. Oh, yeah. Uh, not a Reachman, but there's someone on your left. <laughs> now ain't this a surprise. Now we're gonna uh! spill your brains on the road here. Uh! 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 Why? Why? You idiot, you're the one who attacked. What do you think? That's a fancy little, uh, staff you got there. You've also got... some kind of sense for this. Aye. 
a sense for uh, when there might be danger. That is exactly right. Is someone there? Of course. Oh, bloody archers. That the best. There we are. Uh, Soul. Hi. Did you just shield bash her to death? I might have. <laughs> I'm getting good at. I'm getting used to, I suppose. The way that one has to swing when your shield is strapped to your arm. Right. What was your weapon before the uh, the hand incident, by the way? I was a swordsman. Oh. Well, ain't that just... the worst. Oh, look at that. I like the, uh, I like the trees. You look tired, so. I am. Sorry, sir. What manner of staff is that? This Eldritch Blast, I think. That's what Cactus said, anyway. Oh, I. All right, get some sleep. Aye, and in the morning, we go back to Gildas.